executed at a higher level than any of the other rooms and the row one seating really <laughs> left me wanting to just pop some popcorn and watch a full movie. But wait, there's more, the dark horse. From an audio perspective, I want to draw some attention to the Hisense Next Level Acoustics Room for just a minute here. The ultra short throw projector looked really nice at 120 inches, but the real star of this room was the audio. Next Level Acoustics is typically known for their custom high-end soundbar offerings. They can make a soundbar for you that will not only sound great, but they'll build it to order to match your specific display and your interior decor. This show, however, was the debut of their new reference cinema line with seven matching bed layer MTM speakers, dual 18 inch subs and six height speakers above powered by Trinov and fueled by like pretty much every Cedia demo, a Kaleidoscape system. I was really impressed with the precision imaging from this bed layer of, of these home theater reference cinema speakers, especially in a room with just a curtain for a back wall. So we're showing our reference cinema line guy down there. So we're doing a whole 7.26 Atmos system with them. It's our world debut. They are a compression horn driver with dual eights. They slam for big rooms. They sound musical in small rooms. We're really proud of them, and we're really excited to be able to show this here with high sense in a full sound room at Cedia. So we're very happy to be launching our new Reference Cinema series, and our flagship model is the Reference Cinema speaker, which you see behind me. That uses dual carbon, carbon wool eight-inch drivers, along with a four-by-four four compression horn. So Next Level Acoustics was at the top of my line, right? So the, the idea is to create this experience Hisense is trying to make a name for themselves, so I wanted to surround them with a bunch of like players that would elevate their, their, their scenario. So you wouldn't necessarily think that Hisense would be surrounded by the likes of Trinov, Kaleidoscape, you know, AudioQuest, uh, all, 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 the, all these giants in the industry. So whenever I was designing this booth, I wanted to bring them up at the same time. Next Level Acoustics, I'm big fans of theirs. They have incredible products, and uh, I, I really couldn't think of anyone else to be a part of this. Uh, whenever I called people up, they were ready to rock and roll within that weekend. So we made it happen really, really quickly. And the, the statement that this thing makes is incredible. You have a really amazing engineer in John Solicito who had all these great designs. So what we wanted to do was take these designs and make them really catered to the installer to be able to grab this thing, have amazing sound, customization, and ease of install. John Solicito, as everybody knows, is the co-inventor of the Infinite Swift speaker back in the 80s and 90s. John has partnered with us and he's part of Next Level Acoustics. So what's happening here is 30 years of engineering prowess, building high-end $20,000 to $30,000 towers for the audiophile community is now going into everyday products such as sound bars, in walls, on walls, bookshelves, subwoofers. And that's the main difference, is that you're getting engineering when it comes to next level acoustics. It's like eye candy around here. Like there's, there's, there's dealer's choice on any demo that you want to do. And I've actually had people come back up to me and tell me that this booth was better than X, Y, or Z booth. And that's just incredible. I mean, like, and it's not just one person saying that. So, I mean, whenever you have even giants of the industry telling you that your booth is better than the competition brand X, it's really, really cool stuff. I think the biggest reaction is they can't believe just the cinematic presence that we're able to get with such a small form factor in, in a room that clearly is not hermetically sealed. It has a big opening, right? And that comes down to the design. So these are intended to work with our high velocity sub line. That's unique to next level acoustics. I mean, the sound bar was sound, but it was always for us you know, we're really, really into film, into movies. Our plan was always to go into cinema, but we did want, but we wanted to do it in, in a logical order. And we didn't want to do it until we had a product worthy and, uh, and uh, unique enough to be out there in the uh, marketplace. We've always had in walls, on walls and all that. This is just our first foray into doing something that's gonna rival a commercial high output cinema sound at a value to get it into your home. The motto of our company is breaking the price performance ratio. It's making the best possible products for the CI channel um, at reasonable and affordable prices to where it's not just the one percenters that can afford our products.
The next level reference cinema line certainly punched well above its weight class at Cedia 22, and with industry legend John Salcedo on board working on designs, I think this might be a company to keep your eye on in the theater space going forward. So there are the three rooms that left the biggest impression on me. On me, my opinion. Were you there? Were you at home following the news feeds in real time? What did you think? What was the most exciting announcement for you? What are you chomping at the bit to get your hands on to put into your room? Leave your thoughts below in the comments, and as always, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you again real soon. Thanks for watching.